working together in Chicago parks, fostering partnerships and alliances. Welcome to Chicago at Play. Ask anyone to name a Chicago landmark, and Buckingham Fountain is sure to be near the top of the list. Buckingham Fountain is exquisite. It's one of the most beautiful um, landmarks in Chicago, and people are drawn to it. Buckingham Fountain is ground zero for the cultural center of the city. It's greatest treasure. It's been adored for generations since it was completed in 1927. But after 81 years, this Chicago icon is in need of a major restoration. The Chicago Park District's philanthropic partner, Parkways Foundation, has teamed up with corporate sponsors to help protect the fountain's glorious legacy and ensure its future. C3 Presents is the company that produces Lollapalooza and they produce a number of music festivals around the nation. Their business model is to create festivals in cities where a portion of the proceeds gives back and impacts the city. Lollapalooza's home has been Chicago since 2005 and last year, 2007, was the first year of a five-year, five million dollar agreement with C3 Presents and the Lollapalooza Music Festival. Proceeds from Lollapalooza benefit Chicago Park citywide, including the Buckingham Fountain Restoration Project. Parkways Foundation and the Chicago Park District have made great strides in building corporate partnerships in the last few years. We hope with the newest project, the Buckingham Fountain Restoration Project, that corporations will see that this is a project worthy of our investment and that it's historic preservation. It's a place that is so meaningful to the city of Chicago and to the visitors to our city. The message really is that we want every person who attends Lollapalooza to feel proud. With every dollar that they spend, from a ticket to food and beverage to t-shirts, a portion of those proceeds comes to Parkways and we invest those into the parks. So we really want um, people who come to Lollapalooza to feel that they are part of this civic partnership, that they are doing something and enjoying something that makes a difference in the city. Come September, the fountain will close to undergo a renovation during the off-season that will include new water displays, accessible pavement, and restored landscaping. The outer basin, the largest 280-foot square diameter basin, is deteriorating severely from the bottom up. We're losing tens of thousands of gallons weekly through this basin. We're going to need to address masonry repairs to the marble and granite. And the bronze sculptures have never been completely restored. So this project really will be the first time in its history that the entire fountain has been completely restored. The restoration project will also include extensive improvements to the fountain's pump house. As part of the complete renovation project, we'll be replacing all of the electrical supplies and plumbing infrastructure to the fountain. When the fountain was originally built, it was touted as being the largest in the world. Now in this day of energy consciousness, we're looking at being more efficient with the water management, and by installing new pumps, we'll be able to cut that water consumption almost in half. When it was originally built, Kate Buckingham placed extreme scrutiny on the light show. She wanted the effect to be soft moonlight in the colors. So we're retaining that feature, certainly. However, at certain times, we're going to enhance it with new colors, new fountain displays, and it'll be a whole new experience. One bittersweet aspect of the project is the hawthorn trees at the four corners of the site will need to be removed. But by restoring the original 1927 corner pathways, we'll also be replacing the hawthorn trees and reestablishing the original intent of the landscape design. So thanks to some vital corporate and community support, the legacy and the future of Buckingham Fountain is being protected for decades to come. Well, as a preservation architect, I'm always indebted to things that our classic that will always stay the same will always be there for future generations. I think that's what is most rewarding about this project. We always know it will always be here, appreciated and adored. So much of Chicago's history is in Chicago's parks and the legacy of Chicago's parks. 
We feel that the Buckingham Fountain Restoration Project is going to become part of this legacy. We want Chicagoans to get involved and really feeling that they were a part of this very important piece of Chicago's history.